Jana Sina GA signed a 390 million US dollar contract with Slovenian aircraft manufacturer PP Steel PP Strel at the beginning of November. While the agreement calls for two factories to be built in China that will produce 500 ultralight aircraft every year. It also involves transfer of technology and also selling rights in 11 Asian countries. So, what makes the deal interesting is most of the small aircraft will be electrically powered. Our correspondent Alyosa Milankovic has this report from Slovenia. It's a rainy day in Idolshchina and the Pipistrel aircraft are stuck on the ground. The test pilots don't have much to do, but there is plenty of activity inside the factory. Even the factory owner comes to help. Pipistrel aircraft are in high demand because the company is a world electric planes. Their quality and eco-friendliness has been recognized by China. They have a vision to fight uh, against the climate changes and they are taking this very seriously and also of this uh, uh, our um, contract had a lot of uh, publicity because it's the proof also that uh, China means very seriously with the climate changes. Well, this is something completely different. This is how electric engine on ultralight aircraft sounds like. It is light, it is eco-friendly, and on top of it, it sounds like oversized house fan. So, is electric flying different to the old kerosene school? From the pilot's point of view, as for flying itself, there is no significant difference. The only difference is that the electric plane is much quieter, and to start the aircraft press two buttons. According to Ivo Boscarol, by 2020, China will require almost 30,000 small two- and four-seat aircraft. Ivo and his Chinese partners hope that most of those planes will be those which need just two buttons to start. Many Slovenian companies would like to follow Pipistrel's example, but according to an expert on China's economy, they'll need to adapt. If they want to enter the Chinese market, they need to open to uh, foreign equity, in particular Chinese equity and partnerships. I would say that this project is a huge project for Slovenia. It's a huge project for, uh, for Eastern, Central and Eastern Europe. China's aviation market is open only for the best. And Evo keeps his company at the top because... Being second, it's not a problem. Everybody can be. But the first is only one. Alyosha Milenkovic, CCTV, Idolshchina.